people do horrible things with the water supply at RV parks. That is the perfect place for molds and mildews to be growing. Nobody wants to be drinking that kind of stuff. There's some over-the-counter stuff at RV dealers that they're selling. Sure. Uh, is it worth the investment to buy those instead? Do you recommend traveling with a full tank of water? And it actually doesn't have the same concentration of what we want in there, which is the sodium hypochlorite. Do you have any opinions on water filters uh, for RVs. Yeah, absolutely. And it's probably important to mention that we did bypass the water filtration system for this. You don't want to send that through your water filtration system, right? Absolutely. Hey guys, look who is back. It's Jim from Clean Tank. And no, we're not actually cleaning our black and gray tanks That's today. Right. Uh, but we are cleaning a tank. We actually had a question on the Black Tank Master Class, which we will link to if you have not seen it. It's gotten over 500,000 views. Uh, super helpful to every RVer out there. But today it's about cleaning your fresh water tank. Yes. Uh, which is super important because we all drink water and we got to shower. We got to have a lot of water when we're RVing. But this is a step I would say a lot of RVers make mistakes with, right, Jim? Yes, absolutely. And if not done properly, it can make you sick. Sure can. Uh, so we don't want to do that. We want to make sure you are happy, fun, healthy out there while you're RVing. So, uh, well, let's get started, huh, Jim? Sounds good. All right. I'm Tom. And I'm Cherie. And we're enjoythejourney.life. So Jim, why should an RVer have to sanitize their freshwater tanks? Sure. So um, those tanks are pretty big. Generally speaking, they are the combined size of your black and your gray tank. Not always true, but in general, they are the biggest tanks that we have. They are have a lot of water in there. There's a lot of moisture. And generally speaking, they are warm or even hot. That is the perfect place for molds and mildews to be growing. Nobody wants to be drinking that kind of stuff. So doing a sanitation can take care of that, knock down that mold and that mildew. And how often should you sanitize your freshwater tanks? Absolutely. So great question. So full timers, four times a year. You can do it every season, every three months, but four times a year. Everybody else, twice a year. Even if you're the occasional user of the freshwater tank, you really want to make sure that's sanitized. Well, uh, make sure you subscribe because we have more videos with Jim coming out and uh, we are going to be making our second uh, clean tank video yes. here, right? Yes. It's been about a year since uh, my first cleaning. Yep. I've been using regular toilet paper. What are my tanks like now? We're about to find out. Got it. So make sure you subscribe again so you catch that. So how do we do this, Jim, uh, as quickly and easily as possible? Sure, so uh, sanitizing the freshwater tank is a time-consuming process. There are a lot of steps involved. It's not a complicated process, but it's a very long process. Here's how you do it, very simply. We want to get a sanitizing liquid or solution inside that freshwater tank. Whether you do it uh, with uh, an attachment to a hose and siphon it in that way, some of these rigs have their own pump-driven siphon that puts it in. Uh, there are, in fact, some uh, newer uh, little appliances or, or items where you can pour the sanitizing liquid in to get it in that tank. That's the first step. Once that sanitizing liquid is in there, that tank is full, then we use the pump on the RV to pull water from that water and sanitizing liquid from that holding tank into the plumbing. The plumbing is also going to be sanitized. So the pump is going to pull water through the plumbing system. We're going to go inside, uh, open up all the taps that there are, the shower, the sinks, if there's an outside shower. You don't have to do the toilet, but we want to turn all the taps on until we smell 
that sanitizing solution. Then turn the pump off, turn the taps off, let it sit for a while, let it do its thing, let it uh, start to kind of eat away those molds and mildews, do the sanitizing that it's intended to do. Then we want to get rid of that sanitizing liquid and water that's in the tank. So we're going to empty the tank out. Usually most rigs have a, a larger uh, uh, connection on the bottom with a pole usually where, or a little switch where uh, that water, that sanitizing liquid can come out uh, either into a bucket, you might want to attach a hose to it to get it off uh, maybe into a field or uh, some other place. Sometimes some people will even use the pump to put it through the gray tank and into the, uh, the drain at the RV park. That's a lot of water to do that, but you got to kind of think about what the park will allow you to do. So that sanitizing liquid is out of the tank. Then you want to do the same thing all over again, minus the sanitizing liquid. So you want to fill that tank up again. You want to use your pump to circulate that fresh water through the uh, plumbing system and out the taps. Uh, you're not really smelling anything here. There might be a little residual bleach that's left over, but basically we want to rinse out the tank and the plumbing at that time. You're going to let it sit for a period of time. And then again, you're going to empty out that water, get it out of the holding tank. And whether you want to leave the tank empty or you want to put half a tank of water in there or a full tank, that's up to you. But at that point, that tank is con uh, and the plumbing is considered sanitized. And Jim, since we're talking about filling your water tank up, do you recommend traveling with a full tank of water? That can be an awful lot of weight. Uh, considering most uh, fresh water tanks are anywhere from 50 to even 150 gallons and eight pounds a gallon, you know, you can quickly get up into the hundreds or even over a thousand pounds of weight uh, uh, traveling. So I, in my rig, I like to travel with about a fourth of a tank, so if something should happen that I'm stuck overnight somewhere, I've got some water for the toilet, uh, for drinking, for doing the dishes, things like that, but uh, I personally don't travel with a full tank. Okay, so again, uh, when you're doing your sanitation, you're gonna wanna make sure you're wearing a pair of gloves. No matter what type of sanitation liquid you're using, but especially if you're gonna use a bleach, uh, make sure that you have some gloves on because you'll be touching things and uh, all of a sudden you'll get white spots all over what you're wearing. Make sure that you have some extra gloves around because you're gonna to wanna to uh, change those pretty often. There are a couple of different types of uh, sanitizing solution. Uh, the most common one is bleach, plain old bleach. Uh, and I like the uh, non-concentrated bottom of the shelf stuff. So the concentrated is more of a gel and it actually doesn't have the same concentration of what we want in there, which is the sodium hypochlorite. So concentrated does not have the adequate concentration of that chemical that we do the, uh, the sanitizing with. The other kind that you can use is uh, vinegar. Vinegar is a good sanitizer as well. It's not as good. So if you're going to use vinegar, maybe you're a little uh, sensitive to the smell of bleach and you want to use vinegar, you're going to use twice as much as you would the bleach. And Jim, there's some over-the-counter stuff at RV dealers that they're selling. Sure. Uh, is it worth the investment to buy those instead? No. You know, I know a lot of uh, new RVers get that in sort of a kit or something from the dealer. I really just think that the plain old bottom of the shelf uh, grocery store bleach is adequate for, for sanitizing your tanks. And it's going to be the cheapest, right? Absolutely. A gallon of this is, you know, two or three bucks at the most. So um, there are some other things that we have here that you can use. Uh, this RV inline sanitizer, it's like a little, uh, a little uh, container here. And it can be, it's, it's a newer product uh, that we've seen on the market. And... Um, a lot of our viewers are getting this. Um, they pour the sanitizing solution in this reservoir and that's what holds it. It's a really good idea. It kind of uh, keeps uh, from spilling any of the sanitizing uh, solutions. Um, some of the, uh, uh, if you have a travel trailer, uh, typically those don't have something like a Nautilus system or an inline system that uh, can pump in or control the, the water and the sanitizing solution. Sometimes you just have a an outlet uh, on the side of your trailer and in those cases something like this uh, one of these little siphons where you're just dumping the sanitizing liquid in it's going into through the hose and into the tank uh, it can be uh, done as well um, I've also seen a lot of people who will take uh, 
the hose and even use like one of these little quick tank fills and uh, connect it to the hose and do it that way. Uh, that's an, certainly an option for you too if you have that, that type of uh, connection on your travel trailer. Um, always make sure you're using a sanitary hose. Do not use the hose that you use to uh, flush out the black tank. You want to have a dedicated hose for your fresh water. You can use that same hose to do sanitizing uh, of your fresh water tank. And is it necessary to pre-mix the solution or no? No, no. Um, again, uh, the formula for using bleach is one quarter cup per 15 gallons of capacity. And I'm sure Tom's going to put that down in the comments there. The, the uh, solution, the right proportions for using vinegar, remember, not as good of a sanitizer as bleach, so it'll be twice as much, is one half cup of vinegar per 15 gallons of capacity. So Jim, my uh, wet bay here is kind of tight uh, <laughs> compared to some uh, big RVs. Uh, but since I have you here, this is our Blue Technologies three-stage water filter. Uh, do you have any opinions on water filters uh, for RVs? Yeah, absolutely. Um, absolutely have them. Absolutely, absolutely. I have seen, and we all have seen, People do horrible things with the water supply at RV parks. Put the sewer hose up to them, spray the water right out of the spigot. Uh, I've seen people put sewer hoses on picnic tables and just do terrible things. So you really want to think about your own sanitation and safety here. A uh, filtering system like this one is fantastic. In fact, that's the one that I'm moving to uh, personally on my RV. Uh, very soon, so I highly recommend a filtering system. Yeah, this is the Bluetech uh, R3 here. It's a lot smaller than some of the other three-stage units on the market, and uh, so we will have a link down below uh, for that one, as well as some of the other products that we're talking about. Absolutely. And I'm going to go ahead and pull it out of the way. There we go, and you can use it outside like that, which I've done. I've got this simple little lock here, I lock it under one foot of the leveling system, but it just works easier for me to have it sideways up here in the wet bay. Okay, as I said, you want to make sure you're using a sanitary hose, not the one that you use to do the flushing on your black tank. Uh, so we've got a blue sanitary hose that we uh, use for servicing uh, water heaters and for freshwater sanitation. You want to make sure that everything you are doing is uh, sanitary. So take a, uh, a wipe, a sanitizing wipe, and make sure that all the fittings are wiped down adequately uh, just to do an extra step uh, to keep things nice and sanitized. Obviously, everything we're trying to do at this point, we are trying to keep sanitary. Uh, so we uh, go the extra effort, and I would suggest that you do that as well. So uh, the way I do sanitation is I, I get the uh, sanitizing liquid. In this case, uh, we're using good old Clorox here, uh, bleach. And I like to put it in an uh, empty and sanitized uh, water bottle so it's contained. Things aren't going to slop out or anything like that. And then what we do is we use one of these uh, neat little uh, brass siphon kits here. And uh, the water through your blue or uh, otherwise sanitary hose goes in this way. And you've got a shorter hose going out this side uh, into the rig. And uh, the siphon, just simply the hose goes down in here. And the uh, pressure of the water will actually suck the bleach or sanitizing liquid up into the water stream and into the rig and into the freshwater tank. Yeah, that's a method I haven't used yet. Yeah, this, uh, you can, there are, you know, different ways you can do it. You can pour the bleach into the hose. You can uh, uh, use one of the uh, uh, kind of bigger, uh, traditional, more uh, plastic siphons to do it. But uh, I found that this is uh, a really good solution. It does tend to keep uh, the mess down, especially if you're using uh, bleach or something like that. It does keep it contained. Uh, just need to make sure that uh, you know you're taking the adequate precautions. Uh, again, sanitizing everything as you go. So you're going to want to wipe this down with every use. This is a brand new one too. <laughs>
Don't spill the bleach. <laughs> no. I have uh, countless uh, shirts and shorts and shoes there have white spots all over them. <laughs> so we've set everything up here. We've got uh, our siphon in line. Again, you don't have to go to this extent. Some people will take the bleach and actually pour it into a empty uh, hose and then connect that up to your system here. Uh, you can use one of those little inline reservoirs. There's a lot of different ways to do it. Uh, you, some of these uh, systems actually even pump, use the pump to, uh, to fill the freshwater tank as well. And this particular type, and this is pretty typical of most fifth wheels and even some uh, coaches, um, they have this sort of system here with a variety of different lever levers uh, that'll have a little illustration. And you just want to make sure that uh, you're picking the one that power fills or fills the fresh water tank. In this case, we call it power fill in this particular system. So it's got the white sideways, the blue sideways, the black sideways, the red up, and the green down. And these little levers just change the internal structure of this pumping system here. Uh, from dry camping or city water to a winterizing system, uh, sanitize, uh, whatever you want to do here. So we're going to use the power fill the tank here. You can also use the uh, sanitize, which would siphon things into the tank with the pump. Uh, but today we're going to use the power fill. Uh, the pressure of the water is going to drive the sanitizing liquid in. So just the uh, power of the water will uh, siphon that out, huh? Yep, creates a suction. Oh, I see it pulling it out now. Yep. And you can see the volume of the bleach in this case, that's our sanitizing liquid, is going down pretty quickly. So this is being pulled or dragged by the water into the fresh water tank right now. And in this case, the size of your tanks meant that we're using about 20 ounces of sanitizing liquid, bleach in this case. So two and a half cups is the correct proportion for your size. Again, the formula is one quarter cup of bleach to every 15 gallons of capacity. If we were using vinegar, it would be one half cup to every 15 gallons. And it's probably important to mention that we did bypass the water filtration system for this. You don't want to send that through your water filtration system, right? Absolutely. The siphon has took, taken everything out of that bottle. So now what we're going to do is just, in this case, again, not what you have to do, but you do whatever method you want to use to get that bleach in there. I'm going to bypass the siphon. Once the sanitizing liquid is in the tank, the next important thing to do is just to continue to fill that tank up until it overflows. Most RVs have some sort of overflow valve, uh, usually underneath the, uh, the rig, and we're gonna continue to fill up this freshwater tank until it starts to spurt or come out, and then we're gonna stop. At that point, the freshwater tank is full of water and the sanitizing liquid. Yeah, the back one's going right there. I guess we gotta wait for the front one, huh? If they're both tied together, then they're both probably filling up. They're both probably full. Oh, I think I hear it now. Yeah, there it goes. All right, so those tanks, in this case, you got two tied together, are full and there's water coming out of the overflow, which is what we want. Um, so we've turned off the water there. Uh, the next steps are gonna be getting this sanitizing liquid and water from the fresh tank into the plumbing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside. We've turned the water off already. We're going to go inside and turn the pump on and then we're going to go to all the faucets in the RV. All the uh, sinks, the shower, any outside shower that you may have. You don't have to do the, the toilet. Uh, turn on the taps there and you want to smell that bleach or if you're using vinegar you want to smell that vinegar then you know that sanitizing liquid is in the plumbing itself. Oh yeah, I can smell the bleach now. Head in the bathroom here.
And I can smell the bleach in here now as well. Well, smell the bleach there as well. Gonna go ahead and run some into the washing machine as well. In the back sink right now. Can smell it now. Uh, so once you smell that, you can turn those off and then starts the waiting game. So now that that sanitizing liquid is in uh, the plumbing system itself, uh, we want to wait. Typically the minimum waiting is about four to six hours. Uh, I like to go personally overnight uh, just to make sure that you're sanitizing everything that there is that that water and sanitizing liquid is touching. And then after that waiting, that initial waiting period, uh, you're going to come out here, open up the uh, valves on those freshwater tanks or freshwater tank if you have one, uh, dump out that water, um, sometimes on the ground you can run a hose off into a field sometimes if you can catch it in a bucket and maybe dump it somewhere that's good too you just don't want to make a, a muddy mess and you kind of want to be uh, uh, respective of your of both the RV park and your neighbors as well but you want to get that water and that sanitizing liquid out of the uh, tank once that's done you're gonna do the same thing we did here minus the bleach or the vinegar so just put fill up that fresh water tank uh, until it starts to come out of those overflows again, turn off the water, go back inside the rig, turn the pump on, circulate that water uh, for a good minute or so through all the different taps. Again, you don't have to do the toilet, uh, but through the different taps. You're not really smelling anything here, you're just trying to rinse out that uh, sanitizing liquid. Let it sit again a good four hours. Um, you know, I kind of like to start this process uh, late in the afternoon. Let the sanitizing uh, liquid sit in overnight, empty it out in the morning, refill the tank, and then let it sit for a good four hours till maybe lunchtime the next day. And then empty out that tank and you are done. That tank has been sanitized, the plumbing has been sanitized. If you want to put some water in your tank for the next use, you can. If you want to leave them dry, you can do that too. But that's how we do a sanitizer. Well, gosh, thank you so much, Jim. Uh, I think we should add that this is now a part of your service. Yes. As well. Yes. So not only do we uh, uh, hydrojet and take care of your waste tanks, but we do it for your fresh water as well. Obviously, we don't use the same equipment. Uh, this is a little bit of a more manual process. Uh, we also do winterizing uh, for those that have an RV in the north or if they're worried about it freezing. So our dealers uh, perform winterizing. And then when the weather warms up uh, in the spring, we do dewinterizing. And dewinterizing typically has a freshwater sanitation process built into it. Okay, wow, that's great. And so we'll put your contact information sure. down below. Your whole dealer network is available uh, yep. there as well. And we should add, you're still uh, accepting applications for dealers, right? We are. We're at 48 dealers now, which is uh, like our 2030 goal. We've met this year uh, quite a bit, and uh, we've got 10 dealers, what we call on the road, and about 35 dealers who uh, are stationary covering different areas, but we cover most of the United States and a little bit of Canada as well. So this is actually a possible job work opportunity for full-time RVers. Then. Absolutely. Yep, yep. So uh, it's a great uh, opportunity to do education for RVers. Um, our, our program is completely turnkey. Uh, you get all the training, the equipment, the supplies, the marketing, the support, uh, the advice. Uh, and it's one big family of clean tank dealers. Awesome. Well, uh, make sure you subscribe because we have more videos with Jim coming out and uh, we are going to be making our second uh, clean tank video yes. here, right? Yes. It's been about a year since uh, my first cleaning. Yep. I've been using regular toilet paper. What are my tanks like now? We're about to find out. Got it. So make sure you subscribe again so you catch that. And for our next video, you can click right over here.